Super Sport United's quest for the coveted second spot in the DSTV Premiership continues this afternoon as they welcome Amasulu. It's a very good afternoon to you from the grounds of the Tuani University of Technology and uh, this on the outskirts of the capital city Pretoria. It is uh, a temporary home for Super Sport United. Well, the champions Mamelodi Sundowns have taken a massive step towards the semi-final of the Champions League, the Cap Champions League. Meanwhile, back home here, the battle to join them in next season's Champions League continues and it is fast looking like it may well come down to a two-horse race after results this weekend. And in fact, in the earlier match this afternoon, Kaiser Chiefs, the other team in contention for that second spot, succumbed to Skukuna United uh, away from home. It's been two months, uh, just over two months since uh, Keegan Buchanan uh, featured for Amazulu and for Raman Patele, his last appearance uh, was against Chipa. Now, Amazulu with a great ball across the face here. Yeah. And uh, a major let off there, big let off for Super Sport United. But, uh, that's a great move and a promising start of as well for Usu to bong into the, you know, gives a thumbs up for the service. Well, he should. Good delivery, but difficult for defenders to deal with, but an inviting ball as well. And uh, we mentioned the defense so far looking a bit shaky on the super spot side. Tricky ball there. 13 matches played on the road this season. Now that's a teasing ball there. Oh, Ricardo Gars. <laughs> gathers it he sees the funny side of it yeah tried to be a little bit too clever then uh, may well have come off second best here's where i think there's a problem uh, mm. yes we see this chance that was missed and again it exposes super sport in that midfield now Good looking run and a chance here. Oh my word, he almost made a mess of it. He recovers though to put it away. Wow, what a well worked uh, move that was. And some really poor defending from Amazulu has gifted Super Sport United the early lead and the early breakthrough. Just a start that uh, Gavin Hunt would have been uh, looking for from his side. <laughs> I'm laughing because you would have expected a technical back up on their feet celebrating the goal. But here's a man, a young man that will perhaps believe in his or be thankful about his the goal that he scored and the amount of time given for him. He made a mess of it in the first first time and he gets a second chance of course to, to convert it. So also to find themselves behind again at this ground. Now there could be even more trouble here as it opened up. Chance here for a second. Oh, what a chance. Well, and also what could be worse is that Masego has uh, injured himself in the process. But, uh, you know, this is the kind of thing that Gavin Hunt was talking about that they need to take their chances. They definitely need to take their chances. Again, an inviting ball played in between the defense. No, I didn't think this was going to be able yeah. to go on. Yeah, you can see he's in pain. Oh, he's in tears. It's not just a... Uh, oh, no. Um, I think, uh, yeah, that doesn't look well. We wish him uh, a speedy recovery. So Jody February will have to come on and uh, to replace Veli Yeah, I will hope he gets to recover soon. But uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe uh, going through his mind is that uh, this could be a season-ending injury. Super Sports United though have been guilty though of uh, dropping points from winning positions. And uh, that will be something that I think Kevin Hunt will be mindful of and will uh, remind his players. Is there a chance here? Oh, just again goes wide. Not the strongest of haters, but he towered over everyone. Oh, you can see. Really. So, when you talk to the the big boys and you listen to his press conferences every time, St. Matthews, 
he finds himself of saying the team has never been out of position. Chantier! Oh, wonderful finish! That's a great finish. Kapani Lungu gets amongst the goals then. Again, a sleepy defending day. He steals in and drives it past. And then, yeah, just uh, gets it past the keeper. There was no chance really for Jody February there. Hung out to drive by his defenders there. It's Kapani Lungu who then helps himself to only a second goal of the season. But that is a big goal in the context of a game. Oh, the great chance here! Yeah, and the Mazuna pulled one back! Just as a Super Sport United miss at the other end. A near miss for them. And they go and get punished. And so much for that clean sheet for Ricardo Goss. And the Mazuna are going to set up a hell of a finish here. Are they going to do it again? Two games in a row come from two goals down. Bongin Duli. I would love to see the reaction of Kevin Hunt. It's all about the Zanta and the here. Oh, struck that well. Got a hold of that one, did Lungu. The big man did was straight at the keeper. There's a player down from Mazuri. Who might that be and what happened? Look at Lungu, gets the shot on target. Just he gets and a... Who goes for that challenge? Full laces. Not full laces, but... Oh. The referee plays an advantage there. He might have come back for a look at that one. Hanamu put in a good ball earlier for Augustin Chidiquem. Not clear here. Ethan Brooks looking for the space for a shot. Still alive. Oh my word. A wild shot from Kalinge. Wild shot. And, and he balloons that one. What a chance. But anyway. The sap has got uh, uh, very much I forgot he's oh, injured. He, yeah, of course he, right? so he forgot he's injured. We know, man, we know, we know this thing is supposed to happen. And uh, Brian Mate, your thoughts uh, on the, the game? I mean, in the end, I think you've got to say it was too little too late from Amazulu. Definitely. They made the changes to try and influence the game. It played off. They changed their style, and as we, as we mentioned, it was not about beautiful football for Amazon. It was more aggressive. For Super Sport, they will say they missed a couple of chances. They scored the two goals. They struggled to, to, to manage the game in terms of retaining possession. That's allowing Amazon to change their game plan. Went for route one. It paid off in the end. They almost got an equalizer, courtesy of Maduna. But excellent goalkeeping as well denied Amazulu. It's a good victory. They had to grind it out, Super Sport. Yep, it was a battling performance in the end, but they hung on in the end. It's, it's advantage in the chase for that Champions League sport. It's advantage to Super Sport United. They go back second, albeit with uh, having played an extra game. It's finished here at the TUT Stadium. Super Sport United 2 and Amazulu 1. Congratulations, coach. Mission accomplished, but boy, those nervy moments in the end there. Yeah, look, I mean, they got a big physical side, you know, when they, I mean, they, I think they did it last week as well against Cape Town City, you know, they threw it in and, and anything can happen and they got something out of it. But, you know, we should have killed the game off. I mean, Cape Town City should have won the game 4-5-0 last week. They didn't do it, you know, and we should have done it tonight again. And then in the last five minutes, you're holding on. Uh, but that's football. Uh, good determination, good character, you know, and that's what we're about. Hey, you almost did it again today, coach, looking at how it is that you finished. But your back's against the wall in terms of how this match started, you know, from the beginning, that opening goal um, near, near Super Sport United, and then, of course, uh, the injury to Mutwa. Yeah, look, it's uh, exactly what we expected, you know. The second goal, we know they would go out wide, uh, bring in a cross, or else they go direct with the, with, the, with the long ball. We spoke about it, we prepared for it uh, in our training sessions, but still, at a crucial moment, um, we slept and they... they, they they punished us, you know, so it's been the sort of, of, of our season, you know, letting one goal in, second goal in, now we have to chase the game. Unfortunately, today, we, it's the same situation, we tried to chase, we didn't get equalizer, but uh, positively, uh, the boys are fighting, you know, the boys are fighting, and if they continue with this fight, somewhere, somehow, we'll get, uh, we'll get it right.